Hey guys, so it has been a little while since I got my car and as you can probably tell from the title, I'm doing a little car tour. I thought that it's very long overdue and if you're wondering why I look like this, it's because I've just spent the past, what, hour or hour and a half maybe cleaning my car with my dad. So I'm going to insert a bunch of montage stuff that I created and yeah you can see what my car looks like now it's clean there's someone walking past so i'm gonna pretend like i'm messing around in my car it's an old guy it's fine um but yeah so i'm gonna give you a little car tour i'm gonna show you the front after the montage and i'll just explain all the little features that i have in my car and yeah we're gonna show you and then i'll show you the boot it's quite a big boot um and yeah just explain a bit about the car so roll into the montage I'm just going to show you the inside so obviously we've got like the glove box here i have this foil sheet cover for my screen when it gets really icy and then i've just got some dashboard wipes i've got a couple of air fresheners as well so i've got two jelly bean ones i actually forgot about these um and then i've also got two more of the leaven of the got two more of the lemon and lavender i've already got one up here so i've got a lemon and lavender yankee candle one and then i've just got this unicorn one which is just really fruity so those i keep in there for whenever i want to change them over i can't get them back in now it's quite a tight glove compartment um then i shall be able to tell i like my air freshener so i've got one of these car scents i just got this off of amazon then i've got another one up here and another one over there and then this is my dash this is probably my favorite part about the car i love a good dashboard like this speedometer is just so much nicer than the dial um you can change it so i'll just show you so you can change it to have like how many miles per gallon um miles per hour stuff like that the radio but i and that's for sat nav so you can have the sat nav on here so you can have it like that and then once i've obviously set it up for a journey then it would come up with directions on here so it would tell me to turn right and stuff on here but i like to have it on speed and it also tells me how many miles a car has done um i'm pretty sure that's not right <laughs> i'm pretty sure i bought it when it had like four oh no no i'm having a blank moment it is 79 so yeah i drive to work um and it's about 20 miles every day so that goes up quite a lot but yeah, and then I've got this screen, so I have maps, then I have my fuel consumption, so all that info, which being a girl, I don't really want to know. Then up here, I've got all my different radios. I always connect to Bluetooth, and then it just plays whatever music I want it to. And up here, you can see that it's connected to my phone. The time is an hour out, because I'm waiting for the clocks to go forward, and then it will be correct again. Then on menu, you've just got all your nav stuff gps all of that jazz so i absolutely love having a screen it's such a nice addition from my old car i'll insert a photo of my old car but it was it was basic um it was about 800 pounds so that's why it was basic then i've got a little iphone holder so i just slot my iphone in there and then i can either film in my car or i can play music from it and be hands-free then i've got aircon um heating demisting so like if you're not familiar you just up these and then you can like turn it on turn the direction all that jazz um yeah very fancy um most people be familiar with all this kind of stuff but being in a car that was like 600 pounds yeah so my old car was just so old that it was an 06 plate so it just meant that it didn't have all this stuff or it might have had a few things but they just weren't working um it had like the heating it didn't have aircon but it had heating but it didn't work so in winter i was freezing and in summer i was boiling hot because there was no 
aircon so I had to have my windows open all the time um so yeah and then I I also discovered someone at work showed me how to put my fog lights on because I did not know that I had them my car's a 13 plate so it has fog lights and now I know how to put them on they're kind of like on the dial where the lights are but you have to turn your lights on and then flick the switch like that a couple of times and then if you do it like three times and the fog lights come on but you have to know this kind of stuff and I don't read the manual um I keep turning around because I think my dad's gonna come out because he's gonna be like what is she doing because he's been a little while and it's because I'm now filming a car tour. Um, anyway, I'm going to turn you back around and show you a couple more things around the steering wheel. So that's where I put my keys. I've just got a little chain on there. Um, this is where all of the wipers and everything is. So that's back wipers. And I'm not going to do it because I just washed the car. But um, the third one is wiper fluid. So that will clean the back window. And then this you just move up and it does all that. Um, so that's that side and then this side I always have it on auto and that's just your lights and then you do the normal like push towards you for four beams um, and then I've also got um, cruise control so that you can set it to a speed and then just leave it but I never use it just because I'm too much of a wuss I worry that it won't work or I won't break in time or something anyway so then we've got two cup holders obviously if you weren't aware this is a manual so I have a gear stick um, I bought a manual because it was cheaper um, I definitely wouldn't buy one if I bought another car so I wouldn't buy a manual if I bought another car again it is my second car and it was a lot cheaper to buy a manual so that's why I got one it added about a thousand pounds onto it if you bought a auto so I just thought I wouldn't spend the extra money um for those of you wondering it was 4200 for this car um it is a 13 plate so obviously the price tag comes with having a newer car it's a peugeot 208 um and yeah it's the newer edition so that's why like the shape is different even like a year newer than mine i've seen a couple of people there's someone near my work who has exactly the same car that like same color and everything but it's a 15 plate and it's more the outside aspect that looks different um all the silver accents which you would have seen in the montage i'll insert it again now like the photo so you can see but all the silver accents are even more accentuated and like the lights are slightly different on the newer ones but most of the interior is the same so yeah um it is a five door which i absolutely love because it means that people can get in and out it's just convenient for when you have passengers and you get a bigger boot which is lovely and the front is also bigger um in three doors the front is big but the back is very very small because you're obviously trying to get behind the seats whereas this the front is big but so is the back so it's just more comfortable i think um yeah it's definitely not a perfect car like there's things that i notice all the time and i'm kind of like oh i wish i could bought maybe a slightly different car or a newer car but i am saving up for a eco car i want a toyota like a hybrid car um i'm not sure whether it's going to be a toyota or maybe like a kia um but my next car i definitely want to be a hybrid because i drive to work it's just more eco-friendly um like petrol wise and everything it uses a lot less petrol my work is only nine miles away um that's just like one journey and then the same back but it's surprising how much petrol you use when you're going there every single day for indefinitely so yeah it uses a lot of petrol so it would I could probably get there on electric um, if I had an electric car. So yeah, my parents have a Prius, which you can kind of see in the background. Um, so yeah, they have an electric car, so I kind of know about them. But yes, anyway, I will show you the back now. The interior is kind of like this weaved um, seating, which I quite like, but it's really hard to clean. Then this is the back. So as you can see, it's very spacious. Um, I've actually got quite a few marks on the seats, which I don't know what that's from. And then the boot in the back. So yeah, it's very big. And just down here, I have all my like de-icer, um, my scraper. That's just like a cloth for my dash. And then, and then in the other side, I don't actually have anything. And then down here, I've got a couple of USBs and a cigarette thing and yas. So yeah. 
that is the front and I'm just going to show you the boot and then we're done. So this is the boot. I've got my um, barbell pad for the gym. This is Cleo's little dog basket, which I attached to the seat. Then I've just got a towel and some little bits in here, which I don't really use. My reusable bags. And then here I've got my engine oil and yeah, that's pretty much it. I've got a couple of things here which I need to take in because we were cleaning. But as you can see, it's quite a big boot. So yeah, that is the whole of the car and you can kind of see a better view of it in there. But yes, love it. And yeah, this is my current car. I've had it for eight months now. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the tour.